So I've got Gemma Reynolds here, who is Rosalind. Hello. And I've got Jenny <laughs> Bainham here, who is Orlando, and Corin. And Gemma's going to ask um, Johnny some questions. Okay. Hi, Johnny. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we're two days into rehearsals. Um, how do you feel today went? Yeah, went really well. Today was our um, fight choreography day. Um, so we, Laura brought in a fight choreographer um, for the day called Rio. Um, she's she's cracking. She she was really good. She she worked a lot with um, myself and the guy um, Dan, who's playing Charles in our wrestling match. So you're pretty confident that today's gonna. Oh um, yeah, by far. It's the yeah. I mean, the thing with Rio is you know she she kind of knows all the different um, all the different arts martial arts. Um, so we sort of our, ours is kind of a bit of a chaos of. And I ordered chaos of capoeira and a bit of boxing, a bit of sumo and a bit of... Marrying them together obviously can become really tricky, but I think our production is quite a... Our, our interpretation of As You Like It, it's quite a mix of different cultures and histories and things like that and trying to marry them together. So actually it works quite nicely sort of with the way that we're interpreting. The we had a couple of problems, for example, like with why the character would do this or, you know, what kind of reaction they would get from fighting, sort of especially with Orlando and um with his nature kind of as a Shakespearean hero. But um no, we, we bore all that quite a lot in mind and what was great with Rio is she was very um understanding. We really worked into characterising the fight so it was you know, it was all motivated by these characters and their purposes. And um could you just talking about Orlando, could you do you feel that you can sum him up? How do you feel about him at the moment being obviously just a couple of days into rehearsal, mm. but also having lived with the script for a, for a little while and gone through that? Yeah, himself? I mean, it's it's a character that obviously has been historically played by a lot of people, and I think what I always find is really important is to you, you come at it with fresh eyes, not not mimicking another person before you come in at it quite fresh, and so. Um, what I was really looking for and what you really research, I suppose, quite a lot into is sort of, for example, the, what really fuels them, what is the super objective for Orlando. And, you know, for me, he's he's really fueled by um, just trying to emulate his father, really. And, you know, a lot of those are kind of from the Shakespearean elements of, or the Jacobean elements of what makes a great romantic hero. What what are the ideals of a romantic hero, Um Obviously, for me, Orlando, he, he is young, he's, I, I, he's naive, but he's over-eager, he's, he's gentle. And so, you know, he's not always the perfect sort of Shakespearean hero, but that's, that's his aspiration, that, that for me as well. And just finally, if you, um, if you weren't playing Orlando, if you could play any other character in the play, male or female, <laughs> um, who would you play? Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah, I remember... Um, <laughs> Some friends of mine, we were looking to do a bit of a crossover gender thing and I was caught quite a bit by Rosalind and Celia. I think both <laughs> of them, I wouldn't mind at all. Like Rosalind, obviously everyone kind of idealises Rosalind. There's always, when you hear about Rosalind and As You Like It, I think she's she's a bit of a favourite. But I actually, I think I personally go with Celia. She's, she's got a lot of sass. <laughs> I've got one last question. Um, go for it, Mrs. Johnny, Director. Yeah. Could you summarise for everyone watching... Um, could you tell them why they should come and watch As You Like It and maybe sell it? <laughs> Definitely. It's with um, our production of As You Like It, I mean, it's a five person production which just is featuring everything. So it's five performers in a very Eastern European folk kind of way, just kind of out of the box, out of suitcases kind of storytelling with Shakespeare. So, you know, it's mixing up music and. Um, fights so you've heard all about these fight choreo this fight choreography it's got all this musicality in it which is just incredibly energetic really keeping with you know just the the merry attitudes of as you like it it's a fantastic summer play it's a real great thrilling ride to just go on and you know with us we're, we're throwing stuff at it and we're just marrying it together with all these fights all this energy all these songs you know we're all together as five a company of five who are just really, really keen. And so I think you're in for a real treat. Thank you very much. Great. And all the details are on the, uh, on the blog and the Facebook page.